It's become a well-rehearsed ritual, Donald Trump's performance on his way to court. But this time, it's very different. The first criminal trial of a former president, and it comes with a possible prison sentence. Just look at his face. He seems drained of all his usual bombast, while insisting he's the victim of a conspiracy to derail his presidential campaign. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And again, it's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. And that's why I'm very proud to be here. Loyal Trump supporters and many ordinary voters do believe he is being unfairly targeted. They're uh, weaponizing the criminal justice system, system against their political enemies, and it's not right. I will fight for this man till the day I die. And if they put him in jail, there are going to be millions of Americans like me that are going to grab our guns and have a civil war. Trump opponents were also demonstrating outside the court. He's been a lifelong grifter and should have never gotten to the point where he could even be president of the United States because he should have been arrested and in jail long ago for all the people he's ripped off over the years. When the porn star Stormy Daniels claimed they'd had an affair, he paid her $130,000 hush money just before the 2016 election. He's now accused of illegally falsifying business records to hide that payment. TV cameras are not allowed inside. Sketches show some of the action as lawyers clashed over what evidence could be used in the trial. Photos from the start of the proceedings show Mr Trump looking sombre and very tired. Fidgeting a lot in his seat at times, he also appeared to nod off at one point, mouth slack, head drooping. He scrutinised the list of questions, asked of hundreds of potential jurors to ascertain their neutrality, including where they get their news and if they've ever been to a Trump rally. Over 60 have already admitted they cannot be fair and impartial about Donald Trump. Finding 12 people both sides believe will be even-handed could take weeks. Obviously, he prefers the campaign trail, but now has to fit that around his court dates. Bringing the trial center stage as he attacked the judge at a rally in Pennsylvania just two days ago. This has never happened before, by the way. You do know that, right? Fully gagged before a highly conflicted and corrupt judge who suffers from TDS. Does anyone know what TDS is? Correct. Trump derangement syndrome. This case could last for months, with Donald Trump required to be here almost every day. Sarah Smith, BBC News, New York.